My name is Monica Gleberman, and you're listening to Silence on Set Podcast. On today's podcast, we're speaking to the lead of Praise PD. PD, aka Petra, begins the series as a New York City it girl with everything figured out until her well-curated life comes crashing down. As luck would have it, a mysterious gift from her deceased father gives her a new lease on life, taking over as the leader of his small-town cult, New Utopia. As PD leans into her new role as girl boss, she discovers what it means to be a leader and how to find her voice as she tries to modernize her late father's small town cult. So to talk about the show, here's its star, Annie Murphy. So I want to talk about the show. It's so good. It's so funny. And it's such a mix of like adult humor and like inappropriateness and yeah. realism in a way. So yeah. I want to ask you what made you decide to go into doing kind of like an animated show? Because this is something new for you. Yeah. I mean, I'd always wanted to try voice work and see what that was all about. I wanted to go to work in sweatpants and no makeup and have that not be a problem. And then, I mean, Anna, who's the creator, is one of my favorite brains on this planet. And she's so smart and funny and so weird. So weird. And I just, I loved all of that. And so... I, I just jumped at the chance to to do this show. What do you love so much about Petey? Because she's so cute. She kind of reminds me a little bit of a mix of kind of like a Schitt's Creek and then like a Kevin kind of like put together <laughs> in a way. But she's just a mix between the two. But then there's so much more to her. So what are kind of like your favorite elements of her and how would you describe her coming to this new town? I What I love about her is that there's so much room to grow. Like when we meet her, she as much as she thinks that she has it all together and all figured out she really really does not and like when we meet her in the boardroom there's a big meeting going on and she has a thought she has an idea and she's but instead of saying it loud and proud she whispers it and then shimmies and then apologizes (laughs) so there's there's lots of room for her to grow and become more confident and more sure of herself and all it really takes is inheriting a cult from her dead dad to to (laughs) send her on her way. Well, I love that too, because that's another element that I really enjoyed was the fact that that scene in particular where she can't say, and she's right, the answer that she says, um, that she kind of mumbles and like shimmies her way out of is correct. And so when she like kind of loses everything and goes to this place, it's interesting how quickly she realizes what I say people will listen to me and that I can make change. And right away, she starts changing things that should be changed changed and people are listening to her. So what is that like too, in terms of just having like a woman represented on an animated show, but be real and be able to show the transition of the voice of her being able to change from that New Yorker. And I mean, it's still there, right? Like, you know, so we're going to like learn more as the season goes on, but for her to be able to have that voice and really take charge and then also do things for the people in the town that are so sweet because she's just trying to help everybody. Yeah. I mean, I thought that her decision to like her first decree to cancel human sacrifices within the cult <laughs> very strong first first decision I thought yeah that was um, a winner <laughs> yeah yeah the wise wise decision I think Anna wrote PD so well and as I said, with so much room to grow and so much desire to grow and change. I'm so excited to see what, I mean, I I recorded it all. I know what happens, but I'm (laughs) so excited to see what, how much she does grow and how much she does change in season two and three and four and five and six, hopefully. I like that. (laughs) (laughs) I love also, and I think I could say this, she starts a kind of like a magazine as a journalist to try to like help make money and then get information. So was that fun too, to kind of play on the opposite? Because you're an actor, we all interview you all the time was it fun to kind of play that and to be like gotcha I was recording you didn't say off the record like I I love that like (laughs) whole scene so was it fun to kind of switch around and do that and then will we see her using that too for like good throughout the town and to help everyone and what's to come with the magazine I'm very excited about this because I was like oh my gosh she's playing like a journalist and we all interview her and drive her crazy so I was very excited (laughs) oh it's always fun it's always fun to to turn the tables a little bit um you'll have to find out you'll have to watch and find 
find out what happens with the magazine. But with PD, you know, there are big swings and big misses that come along with her. But no, it was like, there's so much fun that we had making this and just being directed by Anna is ridiculously fun. The, the directions that she would throw out had usually nothing to do with the actual scene. It would be things like, okay, can you say this line kind of like you're, I don't know, like you're getting out of a limo when you don't really care about anyone who's outside of the limo. The scene itself would have nothing to do with being in a limousine, but it's just like, she put my head in a space where I was like, oh yeah, that's how it should sound. Totally. Like getting out of a limo and you do, you're being an asshole to everyone outside the limo. Great. Nailed it. When you guys were doing it, I love watching voiceover. I've been in there, like in the room before. And I love it because like you said, everyone's in like pajamas and because you could just hang out because nobody sees you. But yeah. for you, are you the actor that is like moving around and doing things and like flying hands and, and really getting into it? Or are you one that can kind of watch what, you know, what's on the screen and try to like, you know, mouth it to match? Like how is your kind of voiceover oh, look? when you go in there. <laughs> no, I mean, you can see how much I talk with my hands just on a normal basis. So in the room, I, it's so tough though, because you, you know, you're like attached by your headphones and you don't want to make noises of, you know, you don't want your jewelry to clang and you don't want to pick up the like sounds of your clothes or anything. So it is, I'm sure it is quite a spectacle to watch me like flailing or around <laughs> trying, but trying to be quiet while I'm doing it. But it's, it's so interesting because we're all alone right like I still haven't met the rest of the cast we've done table reads which are so fun and so helpful but you're all by yourself flapping around in there I know I would love to see what like a behind the scenes video <laughs> of them taping I don't it. think I, I love would those. no I love those because they're so fun because some actors get like crazy into it and then some don't but I could just see you kind of like running around or trying to you know do it with it with the screen playing so I would love to see that I'm sure it's really funny so I wanted to ask you too what's another thing that you're really excited about about entering animation because it's so different it's and I love adult animation because a lot of times I think people hear animation you think like you know for kids and then over the years there's been a lot of you know like the Simpsons family guy things that were made for adults to watch and enjoy so I was laughing out loud watching it I just found it so funny and so ridiculous that it was funny like and just so many things that she's put in so for you what is it about the animation that intrigued you initially where you were like mm all right, maybe I'll, like, I know, like you mentioned, obviously being in your pajamas and the voiceover and stuff like that, but character wise, like, is there something where you were like, Ooh, this is a challenge or this is something I want to try that I've never done. It really was the opportunity to work with Anna. I feel like PD, you know, there are certainly shades of Alexis Rose in PD. So I was like, it's kind of, it felt like a safe space. Like it felt like, you know, in my wheelhouse, but no, it really was like, I just wanted to work with Anna so much. And what's so wonderful about animation is that literally Really anything is possible and especially that paired with Anna's brain like it's weird and wild and bizarre and so I knew there were I knew a good time would be had and what was one of your favorite lines do you think from the pilot when they gave it to you when you read that first script was there one line was it the cult line or like you know I'm getting rid of the cult or like was there a specific line that you were like I'm doing this I have to do this it wasn't a line it was the fact that she's dating a plank of wood like <laughs> New York's hottest man is a literal plank of wood. And I was like, oh, I'm going to like this. This is like, this I feel like that's exactly accurate. Like <laughs> I love that so much. And I love when her friend has the little splinter. Yes. <laughs> She's like, oh. I, did. I I just was dying. And I was like, oh my gosh, the only man she could find is a plank of wood. And that makes sense. I'm a New a Yorker. Plank of wood. Yeah, I completely relate to that 100%. <laughs> so I loved it so much. Hope you guys enjoyed listening to Annie Murphy talk about what it was like playing Petra on Praise PD. She goes into detail about why she decided to take the role, who Petra really is, and what fans can expect for this upcoming season. Freeform will make its animated debut with Praise PD, premiering on Friday, July 21st at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard time with two back-to-back -back episodes. Episodes will also be available next day on Hulu for streaming, so make sure you check out Freeform or Hulu and watch Praise PD. It's really funny. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you're updated on all of our latest podcasts and head over to our YouTube channel, hit subscribe so you're updated on all of our video content. Oh.